Hi there, this is a quick tutorial on how to create a calculated question in Moodle. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your question bank. Uh, you get to that through, usually over here on the left hand bar, uh, through, I, I've got a little tab here that says settings. Uh, you may have it down here in this gray area. And just go to question bank. And this screen should pop up right here. Now this is for Moodle 2.0. This will look slightly different in previous versions, but it'll work pretty much the same way. Now, I'm going to create a new question. And I'm going to create a calculated question. And we'll go next. Okay, question name. I'm just going to call this a sample. So I know I can delete it later. Now, question text. What do I want my question to be? Well, let's take a look at some choices. So let's say I'm a veteran teacher and I've been giving a particular test for a long time and this particular question is on that test and I want to convert this test into a Moodle question or into a Moodle test. So 4x plus 8 equals 16. Pretty simple basic algebra question. Let's convert this now into a format that Moodle likes that we can have Moodle generate random numbers for the 4, the 8, and the 16 there instead of using this particular question. Now it's fine to use the same question for all your students if everyone's taking the same test on the same day, but if you're operating in an asynchronous environment, you may want to have those numbers generated at random. So instead, we want to have some sort of random number 1, x plus some sort of random number 2 equals some other sort of random number, and have the students solve for x. So in terms of Moodle, Moodle likes uh, to have little terms, and we're, they're called wildcards. And so I'm going to call the coefficient cough. The thing that we're adding, add, and the thing we pass the equal sign, ants. These are going to be my wild cards. Now notice I have them in those little squiggly parentheses. Squiggly parentheses are going to become very important when you're making these calculated questions because that tells Moodle that this is a wild card that I would like a number to be generated at random. So I'm going to take this particular equation and I'm going to paste that into the text of Moodle. So first I want to tell my students what to do. Solve for x in the following equation. Okay, in my equation, I copied and I'm just going to paste it in. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to skip over a few things here just because they're not a super huge issue at this point. But we need the correct answer formula. This is very important because Moodle has to know how to calculate the answer correctly for the students. So let's go back to what I had here. So what I need to do is I need to make my answer equal to what the equation that I want them to solve. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract add from both sides and then divide by cough. And I'll put some parentheses around the numerator just for safe measure. Because this is what how uh, Moodle is going to generate the correct answer for x. This is the formula that they ne it needs to go through to do so. So what I'll do is I'll just take the top here and I'll copy that. And I'll paste that in here. And then the other part is I need to divide by COF. So I put a little slashy divide by sign and COF. It auto-filled there because I <laughs> messed this up on a previous recording. Okay, so next, let's go down here. Great, we have to give the students a score. If they get this question right, they'll get 100% if they do it this particular way. Now, tolerance, plus or minus uh, 0.01 relative to the actual answer. Frankly, that makes things a little bit tight. I'm going to bump that up to 0.05 just so there's a little wiggle room in terms of rounding and things like that, especially if students are not real uh, good with significant figures, rounding and things like that. So I'm just going to bump that up to 0.05. Now you could leave it and see how it turns out, but I think for safe measure here I'm going to kick that up. All right, units. This particular problem does not have any units of measurement, so I'm just going to click only the numerical answer. If you had units, you would want to go through and select those. And we'll go down here and just click next page. Okay, now leave these as defaults for now. If we do a more uh, complicated uh, preview on how to build these questions, I may tell you about more about those, but we'll leave them for now. Just leave everything in defaults on this page and click next page. Don't worry about this page. Okay, now for our data set parameters. So here's how we generate the wildcards. Okay, for answer, this is the number on the right-hand side of the equation. 
I'm just going to make this number a whole number because I want all these to be whole numbers. So I'm going to make that a whole number. I want these all to be between the numbers 10 and 20. And I do not want any decimal places in them. Okay, the number I'm going to add, I'm just going to make that 3. And I want this to be between 1 and 10 with no decimal places. And then the coefficient, I'll just make that a 2. I would also like this to be between 1 and 10 with no decimal places. Now, I'm going to uh, force regeneration here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to update the data set parameters. Here we go. Sorry. Okay, now that gives me a sample problem that's within my own parameters. The one I had there earlier had all those decimals. Okay, so here's the one it made. Now I want to add 100 new sets of these wildcard values. So it's going to add 100 questions, 100 permutations of this question for me. Now it's only going to show me one, but if you want to see them all, you can click display, and you can see all 100 that it's going to throw in there at random for every kid that takes this test. Now one thing I like to do, I like to go through and make sure that these are all valid questions. If there's problems, it'll have it'll show some red text and it'll say such and such is outside the acceptable limits, blah, blah, blah. In which case you would need to go back and change the tolerance. Remember that plus or minus 0.01 that I changed to 0.05? You might want to beef that up just a little bit because sometimes the rounding it gets a little picky. And if there's lots of red, it means things are being it's just restricting the answer too much. Okay, these are all looking pretty good. So I think I should get to the bottom here. Okay, so I'm just going to click Save Changes. And my question is done. So let's go ahead and preview it and see what it looks like. Click Preview. And look at that. Solve for X in the following equation. 4X plus 7 equals 10. Okay, so instead of having cough X plus add equals ants, it generated those numbers at random, and it put the answer in there. So the students would then work out the problem, submit their answer, Put, type their answer in and then click submit. Okay, I hope that answers your questions on how to create a, a, a calculated question in Moodle. Uh, feel free to contact me if you can't quite figure it out. Or uh, use the Moodle tutorials at moodle.org. They're also very helpful and lots of good forums on there as well. Thanks.